New York City and say, this is the best city of South ladies and gentlemen. Announcing the arrival of the special guest of honor, His Excellency, Paul Ahmed Tinobu, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency, the special guest of Honor Sun, the stage of the Bernard Party and the Pal Bearer marches to the graveside. Officers and women.
Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, our very senior and distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen. Next on the program is faith service. May I request the clergy for the first service to officiate this aspect of the solemn events? May I invite Deputy Director of Chaplaincy, Roman Catholic, Army Headquarters, Garrison, Colonel M. A. Bebo, to commence the first service. Of these mortal bodies, to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give them a merciful judgment and forgive all their sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead them safely home to be at peace with God and Father. And may they be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. Father, into your hands we commend our brothers and sisters, our brothers who died in defense of this nation. We are confident that all who have died in Christ they will rest to life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave them in this life, the sacrifices they offered for the nation and humanity, to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome them into paradise and help us comfort each other with the assurance of our faith. May grant consolation and comfort to members of their families, to the President and Commander in Chief, the Service Chiefs, members of Armed Forces. I pray that your wrath of judgment will cut up with those who are involved in such an evil act. We pray for the immediate family members of those who have lost their beloved ones, that you comfort them. We pray for those who have come from a distance that you grant joy and mercy after this burial to their destinations. We ask, O oh Lord, that your presence will not depart from us as we commit their souls into your hands for rest. These we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hamid al Majid, Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad. كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد المجيد الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا وذكرنا وأنثانا وقادرنا وقائبنا اللهم من أحييته منا فهي على الإسلام ومن تم ومن تمتوا فمتوا على الإيمان بمنك وجودك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين يا رب العالمين يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم اغفر لإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان اللهم اغفر لإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا قلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وعافهم وعف عنهم وعكرم نزلهم ووسع مدقلهم واغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونكهم من الذنوب والقطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم لا تفتينا بعدهم ولا تحرمنا عجرهم اللهم إن كانوا محسنين فزد في إحسانهم وإن كانوا مسعين فتجاوز عن سيئاتهم اللهم أبدل لهم دارا خيرا من دارهم وأهلا خيرا من أهلهم وزوجا خيرا من زوجهم اللهم أدخلهم الجنة اللهم أدخلهم الجنة وقهم من أذاب النار ومن أذاب القبر اللهم جازهم بالحسنات إحسانا وبالسيئات عفوا وغفرانا بمنك وجودك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين يا ربنا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا قلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم اغفر لهم أمورنا شرارنا وجعل ولايتنا في من قافك واتقاك واتبع رداك يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد
Your Excellency, the special guest of honor. Next on the program is a minute silence in honor of the departed. May I respectfully request we also have a minute silence in honor of our departed colleagues. Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, very senior officers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Up next is remarks by the Chief Host, the Chief of Army Staff. May I humbly invite the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T.A. Lagwaja, for his remarks. The Chief of Army Staff, sir. The Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chiefs, heads of other security agencies they are present, your royal NSAs, traditional rulers they are present, the President, Defense and Police Officers Wives Association, and the President, Nigerian Army Officers Wives Association, and members of the various military spousal associations they are present, distinguished senior officers, both serving and retired, families, friends, and associates of our diseased heroes, invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Ordinarily, this burial ceremony should not be a speech-making occasion, but you will agree with me that it will be insensitive of us and disrespectful to the memory and legacy of the gallant men who have come to bury, not to make speeches, no matter how brief. As the Chief of Army Staff, I consider putting fine men and women in arms way, sometimes knowing that they may not return to their families and loved ones, my toughest job. Correspondingly and intriguingly, my men know that when I send them out, despite the equipment, training, and other forms of preparation, sometimes some may not make it back alive, while some may return handicapped and invalid. Ours is a profession that deals with matters of life and death. When soldiers die in the hands of the enemies of the state, we take it as dying for what the nation has considered a just cause. We celebrate them as gallant heroes. But when they are gruesomely murdered by the very people they are trained, equipped, and took an oath to protect, it is highly demoralizing. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is no longer news that 17 of the Nigerian Army's finest men, whom we have come to bury, were murdered in a reprehensible manner on the 14th of March this year in Okuama community in Delta State, while they went on a legitimate peacemaking mission. It grieves my heart that it took our search and recovery effort over 72 hours to recover some vital organs of the decapitated and disemboweled bodies of my men that were scattered all over the Okwama community by the community youths and their friends. I consider it the most barbaric act any citizen or community can commit against the authority of the state. 
And I must place on record that a lot of restraints have been exercised so far in our search and recovery efforts for missing arms, ammunition, other equipment, and body parts. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, while commiserating with the families of these gallant soldiers, I assure them that the Nigerian Army and the good people of this country will not leave them in the cold. We shall do all within our power to provide succor to them and preserve the memories of their departed loved ones. As we commit the bodies of these gallant soldiers to Mother Earth, I wish to thank His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, the leadership and members of the National Assembly, members of the Federal Executive Council, Executive Governors, particularly of Delta and Bayesa State, as well as all many and patriotic Nigerians for their support and encouragement to the families and loved ones of our, our murdered personnel on one side and the Nigerian army and indeed the armed forces of Nigeria on the other in this difficult time. Your condolence messages have been most comforting and reassuring to the Nigerian army. I assure Mr. President and all Nigerians that the Nigerian army remains committed to its constitutional responsibilities and will not be deterred by setbacks such as witness in Okwama community. As taxed by Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of our Armed Forces, the Nigerian Army, with the assistance of its sister services and other security agencies, is committed to bringing the perpetrators of the Okwama murder to book and recover all service and personal belongings taken from the murdered troops. The Nigerian Army will continue to seek the cooperation of all well-meaning Nigerians, particularly in the affected areas, toward swift and successful conduct of our search and recovery of operations. Once again, I thank you all for coming to identify with the Nigerian Army. God bless you all. Today, we gather here with heavy hearts and tear-filled eyes to bid farewell to our fallen heroes, the brave men of the armed forces of Nigeria, who made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our nation. We stand here in honor of their courage, dedication, and unwavering commitment to duty. Their lives were abruptly taken from us in the line of duty while on a peace mission at Okoma Community in Delta State on 14 March 2023. We are gathered here not only to mourn their loss, but also to celebrate their lives and extraordinary contribution to our beloved nation. We are gathered here today not only as grieving family members, friends, and colleagues, but also as a nation united in sorrow. These fallen heroes exemplify the very best of service to a nation and the love for country. They were the vanguards of peace, the guardians of our freedom, and the sentinels of our security. Their selflessness and unwavering dedication to duty will forever be etched in the house and our memories. To the beloved families who have lost their loved ones, we extend our deepest condolences. We are in this together. We cannot begin to fathom the pain and sorrow that you are experiencing. Please know that you are not alone in our grief, as the entire nation has exemplified by the President and Commander-in-Chief and the Armed Forces mourn you with and stand ready to support you in every way possible. We recognize that no words can ease your pain, but we hope that you find solace in the knowledge that your loved ones made an indelible mark on our nation's history. To our fallen heroes, we say thank you. Thank you for your unwavering commitment to duty, your sacrifices and your love for our nation. You serve bravely and your courage will never be forgiven, forget, forgotten. 
We will honor your memory by continuing the fight against those who seek to undermine our peace and security. We will remain steadfast in our resolve to build a nation worthy of your sacrifice. This sacrifice will not go in vain. The loss we feel today is immeasurable, but we must not allow it to dim the light of our renewed hope within us. Instead, let us use this moment as a rallying cry to come together as a nation to support our armed forces and to work tirelessly towards a Nigeria free from the grip of violence and insecurity. We owe it to these fallen heroes to honor their memory by redoubling our efforts to create a safer and more prosperous nation for all. Let us build a nation where every citizen can live without fear, where communities can thrive, and where our children can grow up knowing the true meaning of security and stability. To the men and women who continue to serve in the armed forces, I want to express my deepest gratitude for your dedication to duty. Your commitment to defending our nation, even in the face of great peril, is truly commendable. You carry the torch that our fallen heroes have passed on, and we stand by your side as you confront the challenges that lie ahead. Indeed, the world is a dangerous place. We together, working together hand in hand, will make Nigeria better, and indeed, the entire nation. To the perpetrators of this violence who seek to sow division and fear among our people, take this from me. Our resolve will not wither. We will hunt you down, we will bring you to justice, and we will restore peace and security to every nook and cranny of our dear nation. Your evil actions may cause pain and suffering, but they will never extinguish the spirit of unity and resilience that bonds within us. Whoever is supporting them, either directly or indirectly, in every way, rest assured, we will get them, we will smoke them out wherever they are, and those who are offering them any support will face the music. That we guarantee. Finally, let us once again pay tribute to the men and women who have given their lives in the service of our nation. May their souls find eternal rest, and may their families find comfort in the knowledge that their loved ones are heroes, forever remembered and cherished. As we bid them farewell, let us pledge to carry their legacy forward, to walk towards a Nigeria that is peaceful, prosperous, and secure. Once again, I want to thank His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief, for taking time out to be with us, and all members of the Cabinet, and everyone that has been here, to reassure you that the armed forces remain focused, committed, in ensuring that we guarantee peace and security in our dear country, Nigeria. That I join you today to commend to us the remains of our officers and men who died in the course of duty on 14th of March this year, 2024, in Okwema community in Delta State. The officers and soldiers who lost their lives that day were patriots, brave, and noble men who gave their lives to defend and protect our nation against internal and external threats. Their sacrifice will be remembered and honored for generations to come. On March 14th, Lieutenant Colonel H. A. H. Ali, the commanding officer of 181 Amphibious Battalion, led three other officers and 13 soldiers to Okwama community to mediate in lingering disputes with Okoloba community. They went on as peacekeepers and peacemakers, respectively, seeking to bring an end to the hostility between the two communities.
they didn't go with tanks, machine guns, and other weapons. They were on a mission of peace. Before the Dastale attack, Ebna Kone Ali as a I was known to be briefed by the Chief of Army Staff, enjoyed great operational exploits, fighting terrorists and insurgents in the Northeast and Northwest before his deployment to the Niger Delta. Ali kept faith with his military calling till the end on behalf of a grateful nation. We honor the sacrifice of Ali and the other gallant patriots who died that day. They will forever be remembered as heroes who answered the call of duty and paid the ultimate price. Major D.E. Obi, Major S.D. Ashafa, Captain U. Sakari, Staff Sergeant Yaya Seidu, Corporal Dambaba Yaya, Corporal Kabib Basu, Lance Corporal Abdullah Ibrahim, Lance Corporal Bulus Aruna, Lance Corporal so Sole of Payemi, Lance Corporal Belo Anas, Alaji, Private Alaji Isa, Private Clement Francis, Private Abubakar Ali, Private Adamu Ibrahim, Private Haman Peter, and Private Ibrahim Adamu. You are all our heroes. Each man now belongs to the hallowed list of service men and women who defended our country and protected their fellow Nigerians, not minding the risk to their own lives. They have all been awarded now. a posthumous national honor. The four gallant officers have been accorded the award of members of the Order of Niger, M-O-N. <clears throat> the 13 courageous soldiers who also lost their lives have been awarded the Officers of the Federal Republic Medal. I commiserate with the families of our fallen heroes and the entire armed forces. I share in their pain and grief, the grief you carry today. It is my prayer that God will comfort all who are bereaved as a result of this tragedy. It is worth restating the depth of gratitude we hold these valiant soldiers and families. As Commander-in-Chief, I do not take the contribution of members of our armed forces for granted. I recognize your valor and bravery. I honor your unflinching commitment to making our country safe from criminals, bandits, kidnappers, and insurrectionists. While we continue to grieve for the courageous men we lost that day, let us also, on this solemn occasion, be reminded 
of the unfinished business of working for peace and harmony in our communities. We must begin to rebuild our communities and make them into places where love, tolerance, harmony will reign. Leaders at all levels, especially community leaders and traditional rulers, must work to strengthen the bonds that unite us. We must end the cycle of violence and bloodletting. I want to make it clear once more that those who committed this heinous crime will not go unpunished. We we find them and our departed heroes will get justice. The elders and chiefs of Okoma also have a duty to help the military in fishing out the government who committed the barbaric crime against our men. I wish also to commend our armed forces for their restraint in choosing not to carry out a reprisal attack in Okoma or its neighboring communities. We must all ensure that the innocent people of the communities are not made to be to bear the punishment of the guilt and wicked among them. To the entire armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I have this message for you. Do not let the death of your compatriots discourage you. There is no higher honor than the vocation you have chosen to pursue. We cherish you, we cherish your labor and labor of law. We salute, salute your daily sacrifice in protecting your fellow citizens from danger. We have acknowledge your sacrifices to defend our country. Within our continent, our subregion and across the world, the Nigerian military has remained a force for good, embodying a great example and keeping our democracy safe. It is now our duty to protect the families of our departed heroes. The federal government will provide housing in any part of our country to each of the families of the four officers and 13 soldiers That's why among them, the federal government has also approved scholarship to all children of the disease up to university level. Including those who are in the womb. The military, we appeal to you to within the next 90 days to ensure that all benefits of departed are paid to their families. May the families of departed and all the loved ones find strength to bear the pain of this loss. And 
next is to the next of kin of late Lance Corporal Bulus Haruna, Master Jephthah Haruna. May I please request the Chief of Defence Staff to please take his seat. Thank you, sir. May yeah, I please request the The next of kin to late Lance Corporal Bello Anas, Mr. Bello Liman, to please be on standby for the next presentation. Following closely, Master Muhammad Mamman, LOK to late Private Adhaji Isa, to also. The NOK to late private Haman Peter, Miss Monica Haman, to please approach for the presentation. Next is to the next of kin to late private Clement Francis, Miss Augusta, Miss Augustina Francis Wada. Miss Augustina Francis Wada, next of kin to late Private Clement Francis. Next of kin to Private Abu Bakar Ali, Master Omar Ali, to please approach. Master Omar Ali. Here, yeah, okay, to private Ad Adamu Ibrahim, Master Ibrahim Adamu. A merciful Savior, you most worthy judge eternal, suffer not our last hour to be in pains or to be in the perils of death. The family of late Bulus Haruna to please approach for the dust to dust for the sake of time. Your DEOB to also please approach the grave site. The NOK of late Lance Corporal Soleil Kwe to also approach the grave site. Also to the reads at this ceremony are the executive governors. May I also request the executive governor of Parasit, who is also here with us, to please join to the reads. The executive governor of Parasit, please.
Okay, I request the honorable minister of defense. The last phase of Next one, I'm program is to reveal the request one of the student mates and the officers, the warrant officers in uniform and the first officer. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.